very few of these, but they're not useful. It's okay. I don't want. I don't really want this, but here we go. Blade GX, take a prize card. All right, take it. I do a hundred, so that's enough. That's enough. Let's do Gale Blade. Finish it off. Take out that Glissopod. Would you like to shuffle? No, you're still healthy. Take the two prize cards. Take the two prize cards. Choice man. Another Gengar. Gale Blade. Yeah, run away. Run away. Run away. Get the Gengar out. He can't kill the Gengar. Well, hello, Negros. And the Frenchels. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. Dante's menu, I'll be serving you a combat Cortana deck. Where this Cortana GX will be fighting and trying to get prize cards as the main Pokemon. Donald, are you bananas? Yeah, I know. You're not supposed to fight with this card. He just is a, an assistant, a side grade. I mean, he don't have to, he doesn't have the damage. 70. And he doesn't have the hit points. Don't make him fight, man. He's not used for that. It's like making your coconut master fight. You're not supposed to use that to fight. Guess what? We'll use both of them to fight. Yeah, Cortana. Let's do it. Yeah. Don't do this, guys. Only Donald does it because he's banana. So, I'm going to explain to you how this combat Cartana deck works. Which is a useless deck built to everybody. And you're going to see it in two. Wait, what are the matches? Does that say, uh... Is that the first place Zora Arc GX deck? Right there in the first match? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to get destroyed. But definitely check out that one turns out. So uh, let's get started. All right, today's intro is Rivali's theme from this is Legend of uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Rivali's the bird. He's the coolest. All right, let's get started. Cortana GX, what would you tell us about yourself? Is it Donald? You seriously making me fight, man? I. Uh, okay, um, let's do this. I'm a ninja. Yeah. I'm a ninja who's not really, you know, a front line combatant, so you shouldn't make me do this. You you, you want to change your mind? No, Cartana. I got you, buddy. So, well, as a ninja, you know, we have to dress very lightly. We only have 170 hit points. And this is the lowest of the GXs. Lowest. So, you're going to do something to make me tougher, like give me some body armor, like uh, fighting fairy belts, right? And he's like, nope, I didn't put that in your ninja arsenal. We're just giving you bonus damage. Choice ban. This does uh, give 30 bonus damage against GX. And you're going to go all in. But Donald, Donald, I'm not the fighter, you know. I got, um, you know, got tricks, but my swords, they can only do 70 damage. Yeah, you know, uh, I just lost my really good swords. So when the choice man does 100 damage, it'll be able to two-shot self, but not stage 1 GX Pokemons. And, but, but, he has a, you know, he has a tendency to run away. Because, you know, we're ninjas. We don't stick around for the bad stuff to happen. You may shuffle Cortana back into your deck. And everything attached to it. I am not staying here. I'm going to use this uh, little smoke screen. Get out before he goes down. Because he's a ninja like that. All right. As a ninja, he has a little bit of a bag of extra tricks. Like, yep. I carry an enhanced hammer around, which is right here. Enhanced hammer discard a special energy card from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Double colors energy. These are used in a lot of decks. Lots of decks. So it's very useful. And it's nice that you have this. Although if you know we weren't a metal deck, we probably used enhanced hammer. And if we were a metal deck, we still probably use enhanced hammer. Cartana takes up a bench space. So adding in there. Why are you using this fight? Because I wanna. I wanna. And finally, he's like, oh, you know, taking prize cards kinda really stinks when you don't got the damage. So, you know, we're ninja. We just take the prize card. G play GX. Take a prize card. You now have five prize left to winning. So, oh yeah. It could change the game. You could just need that one last prize card, take it away, yeah, or just start the game off with that. You don't have to fight to take all six prize cards because you're using ninjas. All right, so it's good. I mean, that's a win condition. Part of the win condition already completed for you for very little energies. All right, coming up next, you still need more damage than oh, 100 with the choice band. You need more. So we tried to hire this archer right here. 
Whereas at Decidueye, oh yeah, stage two gives everybody a little bit more damage. 20 damage for free! But the archer is like, I don't work with ninjas. You know, they're too, uh, they're too crafty and they're, they're, they're not my style. So we had to get somebody else. Yeah. We had to hire you know, somebody as, as, as clever and as, as uh, sneaky. So Gengar! Gengar's like, ooh. You got the right man for a job. Don't trust those birds. Trust me. So, what does he do? I'll curse all your enemies' energies. When they put them onto their cells, they'll, my curse will activate. They will take 20 damage for every Gengar you set up. We can set up to four Gengars. Yeah, so one energy could be 80 damage. Theoretically, if we got them all up. Two? Likely one or two, which is 20 to 40 damage each time they attach an energy. So, if three energies could be very, very lethal if two Gengars are up. So, that is how it works. Do we use Gengars to boost up Cortana's non-existent damage? We don't care about the hit points. If it's about to go, you know, just run away with Gale Blade. Although it takes two turns to charge herself. One DC, one metal, and that's how the deck works. This is gonna be great. We'll see about that. We'll see how you do with that first match right there. So, uh, a little bit extra there. Um, let's see. I am using Parallel City. Parallel City slows my opponent down. I'm using a, you know, a more of a fun, weird deck. So, we're going to use everything at our disposal to mess them up. Parallel City limits their bed space to three. Zorark GX would not be able to hit us hard. Yeah, so there's that. You can't throw down your Coconut Masters if you don't have bench space. And I think that's all I want to talk about. So the rest is part just the deck engine. I'm using uh, energy Lotos, just one, so I can land these DCs with a little bit more accuracy. Like you really, really need them. Every Pokemon needs these in order to you know, attack. You can't wait three turns to charge up Katana. Okay, I think that's it. That's it. So, do not miss that first match because you do want to see that first place or our deck beat me. When we're talking about the London's International that particular tech. So that was Monday's video. Yeah, here we go. Let's get started. Zork, Zork, Coco, Grass, Glissopod. Yeah, let's get started. Welcome to another Katana GX patch. What Katana actually fights? All right. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to get started. So we're gonna go ahead and limit this bench space. This is gonna be very annoying. And we're gonna get our first Katana out. We have no choice but to burn two cards, which is gonna be Guzma. I need another Guzma. I'm likely gonna end. Gengar, I'll get you back, man. I'll get you back. Our main Pokemon is Cortana, so he's coming down. And he's we're gonna energy Lotto for hopefully a DCE. So let's see what we get. Yep. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Let's go ahead and send him down. Play this right here. Let's go ahead and end. And they're very nice stuff to have. Yeah, I like this. Okay. And my turn right there. Yo, Donald! What are you running? How's it going? What are you running so far? Cortana is fighting. It should not fight. Absolutely should not fight, but it is fighting right now. Gotta go! Bye, Reading Queen! And this is looking like what we played yesterday. So, alright. Tapu Coco. Has a free retreat. I wonder if it's the same exact build. If it is, we gotta hunt these babies down. Oh, I had such a nice hand. He knew, but it's okay. Not bad, not bad at all. I kind of like this hand. If I evolve, I confuse it, and I think that's gonna be annoying to it. So grass, enhance hammer. He's playing that deck I played yesterday. Today. Shame. All right, this is up. We need this guy. Let's go ahead and pop the confusion on. Alright, before we Sycamore, everything's gonna get discarded, unfortunately. So I have to play this right now. Get, uh, get that Gengar back. And you know, you may pull something you need, and you don't want to discard it. So we got a Sycamore play safe right there. Oh, wow. Rare candy. Too bad we can't activate that now. Okay, I'll end my turn right there, and leave it be. Not so bad, not so bad. Now we get the bridge that we don't need. And we gotta get rid of these. These are, oh, this is what makes deck, these decks crazy, crazy successful. He got both of them at the same time. Oh, you're definitely not beating this with your crazy, crazy, crazy deck. And these uh, Gastly's would not be that useful. 
He has a retreat. He's just waiting for the Galissal Pot to slam into this. And to slam into that. DCE. Yep, retreat. Hit the my ghastly. At least I got a rare candy for this. Riot is beating. Okay. There it goes. So now we need a, uh, we need a, uh, we need a uh, uh, DCE. Ooh, okay. Get this out here. Let's go ahead and cannibalize more cards. Unfortunately, to thin our deck down. And we got bench space, so let's go ahead and get another Ghastly up. Yeah, I can go forward to use Lily. I can do that. Do this. Pull an extra card. Might be able to use it, so before we Lily. This is weird. Why not rat? Oh, DCE! Yes! Why not Raticate? Oh, yeah, we can definitely squeeze into a. It should not be a fighter at all. We know that. There we go. Take that 100 damage to you. Would you like to run away? Not yet. Not yet. I don't wanna. I, I, even though that's a very good idea. Oh, I don't have any special charges, or do I? I don't have any special charges. I totally forgot. Shoot, I need those special charges. He has two enhanced hammers. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming he's using the deck build I'm doing. Red Snap himself? Yeah. You have now have something. It's gonna be either a Cerola or a Guzma. Those are very likely. There are two there are two of these down here, so we unfortunately don't have uh Yeah, don't have anything to help out with that. So we can start hurting my bench. Guzma, he does have the Guzma, okay. And this hurts just a little bit. I can actually skyle down the float stone, but can I finish this off? Not with 90. Not with 90. I don't have my own Guzma right now. Yeah, we'll have to wait for that. <sighs> yeah, this is deck. This is yesterday's deck. This is crazy. He can actually retreat. He can't retreat just yet, but he has a. Uh... Oh, yeah, he can. He can. He can hit the Cortana. I can retreat too. I need my another Katana to, to get that back there. So... Let's see, we can't get... I guess we can... We can't rare candy. Shell play, Matt. I still need 10 more damage to finish that off. That sucks. Mmm. Get a float stone. Where's that float stone of mine? Get you back home. Get energy on you. You confuse. Yeah. Let's get the confusion effect on. I'm about to run him home anyway. I don't. What deck is this? It's a really bad Cortana deck. Because you're not supposed to fight with Cortana, and I am. I'm fighting with it. Take this. Get, the, get you halfway down. Would you like to run away now? No, I don't. No, I don't. I won't want to run away just yet. I do want to run away with this guard, but he does have another Guzma. He should have a Guzma. That's... Oh, he's gonna find it. He's gonna find it. Let's go this pot. Okay. Yeah, we may actually retreat and, and, and attack with this. Da, da, da. Or, yeah, I didn't have an opportunity to attack yet and run away. This is a Gratana GX deck where Gratana is fighting, which it should not. We may upgrade. We may uh, do some upgrades or, or, or change that up. Ooh, Zorak goes away. Man, the stadium is really limiting uh, the Zorak's potential. So Field Blower, it's like, get rid of this ugly stadium. Oh, hey, I got some more, man. I got some more. Choice Man goes away. Okay. Yeah, that's, giving, uh, that's definitely giving me the bonus. Uh, so now... He needs to attach another energy. What I did to do? Are you stuck? Yeah, I don't have the extra damage anywhere. Gratana just do so, so low damage. Hey, Sorola, picking that up. Setting out which way? Probably the Tapu Coco. No, Zorark is coming out. Okay. 
Man, if we had some goosebumps, we'd definitely go for it. Right is beating. 130. So this is why I do want to attack to run away. Once again. Once again, it doesn't have enough not to deal with this. Oh. Okay, I don't want to do. Let's go ahead and play the Skyler. That's all we got. I think I'm gonna Ultra Ball. How how can, can I set up another Gengar? I can only set up one Gengar, so that Ghastly is. I guess Ghastly is a bit of a waste. Let's discard these two energies. These Gengars do not give any damage because, uh... Okay. Put this down on you. Put some extra draws. I think we should aboard. You should do a Poison deck with Slazzle. Um... Right now, let me finish worry about Kartana. We're gonna use Gale Blade. It does absolutely terrible damage. Yep. And we're gonna send the Ghastly out. Yeah, Ghastly, you go out. Then after you go down, Cortana can fight again. So we gotta knock these DCs off. That's what would potentially hurt him. And I just have the ability to do that. Galissa comes back. Yep. Can you retreat though? Yeah, technically you can. And you can draw more stuff and hit the finish off the Cortanas. So... Let's see. See how I can do the, beat him though. I think I see it. No, no, no. This Galissapod could be a problem. Alright, Lanzio. You followed. You did that. Yeah. Let's wait. Let's wait and see. See if we can claim this. So we'll see if, yeah, see if he lets me claim it. Puzzles of time? Is that double puzzles of time? It could be. And then that would pull... Oh, yeah. That would pull Acerola. Heal up the Exor Arc. I can't. Oh, that's no good. You know, yeah, when, when I get a free bench base. So I gotta take that off the Zorar. That would be pretty good. That would be really, really good. It's still shutting that down. Enhanced Hammer. Man, you're a jerk. I don't have any recycling for those. Enhanced Hammer takes that away. Boo. Well, that's his last Enhanced Hammer. And there are only two, two of these left. Yep, all runs away. You jerk. And now Galissapod takes this. Takes my Pokemon. So Gengar's gonna have to come out. Man, regular Gengar would definitely take this out. If he puts in Mr. Mime, it's GG. Mr. Mime does not affect anything. First impression. All right, the Gengar is a free retreat. It's going out. DC, one of my last remaining ones. Lucky me. Let's retreat into this. Let's play the Kartana. Yeah, take that DC off. How many Kartanas do I have left? I need to do some recycling now. All right, I'll place this down right here. Sycamore. We're gonna do his little deal too. Have a choice man too. Perfect. Gale Blade. Run away! Yeah, we sent somebody else out. Wait, those went back to my deck, right? Yeah, they did. That somebody else uh, has to be Gengar, of course. Gengar can survive! Totally, 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 totally. Oh, we need that parallel city again. That'd be nice. So Zor comes back. How many DCs have been taken off? Just one so far. He definitely has others. Unless they're prized up. This looks like GG from, from my point because I can't do enough damage to, to mess with him. Even though I do, uh, yeah. yeah. But I'll play it through. There's the DC. Ooh, look at that double sting. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. But damn! He's like, get the other Gengar back in, man. Okay. So now how are you going to retreat this? 
mm, Acerola, Guzma. Go for the back line. Go for a uh, go for a banana master, of course. Yeah. Guzma it is. Take out the banana master. And we'll be uh we'll of course send out Gengar. We'll probably get this is our chance to play GX. Or N too. Yeah, it might be a good time for both. I got two ends. So he still is able to attack with Galissopod. I don't have an opportunity to attack him just yet. Ooh, that's a lot of thinning. Alright, you're going to lose that DCE because I'm going to take it away from you. Right is beating. Oh, I'm still alive. Oh, he is missing that last bench space. Totally did not see that. Go home then. Take away that DCE of yours. Yep. And let's go ahead and thin his deck out. We can't attack yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and end right now. You know, I know he has very few of these, but they're not useful. It's okay, I don't want I don't really want this, but here we go. Blade GX, take a prize card. Alright, take it. It's ooh, good, that's good. Parallel City. We wanna finish this off. And we kinda can if we get the DCE. If we get the DC, still, still tough. So now he's like, you gotta fish for it. Fish for it. And if he puts an energy back, that stings him a lot more. So the Gengars kind of do their job, but man, wouldn't the Sidewise, Sidewise be better? It would be better. It would be better, for sure. All right, three Zoe arcs, man. Oh dear. But I know his recycling is very, very limited. So we can get more Kartanas to, you know, start swinging around. That'd be very good. Because I know he won't have enough DCs to fight. Trade? Yeah. You gotta keep on trading. Alright. Where's oh, my own DCE? DC is back there. Ooh, double sting, but not the front one. Got a goose smile. The banana katana. Okay. I have a free retreat. Don't matter with that one. Can't take that away, fortunately. Come on, DC. Not this time. with that float stone. Why don't you take a... Let's limit his damage now. I know you hate Parallel City. I know you have to hate Parallel City. It's well, a fat Pokemon that can't do anything to. What's your retreat cost? Alright, pull that out. Get the Zara out here. You know, you, I know you can't defeat this. Why wait, wait for more time? And right there. There, that should limit the Zora arc. How many DCs you got left? Probably two. I don't think you can get them back afterwards. You're gonna, I'm gonna deck out before you, unfortunately. Unfort maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see if you, he starts trading. Maybe he can also keep the Hunters for confusion. Uh, they have very good uh, anti-confusion. Cortana comes out, boo! He does definitely have enough finish. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, 80. 80 is enough to finish this off. Alright, keep on thinning, buddy. Keep on thinning. Just make sure you thin out before me. <laughs> Alright. So he's almost near the victory now. But he's so low. He is so, so, so low. Okay. Hopefully that DC is in the prize. He won't get the DC in the prize. That's three DC. There's one more DC left. We don't send this out. We send this guy. There's a DC. That's useful. Guzma. We want to finish this. We want to get you out. 
We want to make sure you lose that DC of yours. I kind of do want to pull some more cards, but I know where to do that. You know, one extra card is okay. I may need the float stone for some weird reason. I do 100, so that's enough. That's enough. Let's do Gale Blade. Finish it off. Take out that Glissopod. Would you like to shuffle? No, you're still healthy. Take the two prize card. Take the two prize cards. Choice man. Another Gengar. I mean, that's not. No, that's, a, that's a dead weight. So, I need a bench space, man. I need a bench space. Which I can. I could have done that, but probably next. And another Cortana. I need one more Cortana. I think it's in my deck, but I don't have much bench, bench space to throw it down. Okay. That comes out. There are three DCEs in the discard. It probably is in his deck somewhere. Probably. Nope, it's right there. Ooh, double sting. Now, who are you gonna get with this, though? How many Guzmas are left? Checking the Guzmas. I know this is the, my exact deck build. There are no Guzmas. There's one Acerola, but no Guzmas. No zero Guzmas. He will not deck up before I will. But he will be rendered useless a bit. Right now, his damage is extremely low. Extremely, extremely low. Field Blower, there we go. He's like, I need to get the bench space back, but you don't have that many bench Pokemon, more bench Pokemon to throw down. Maybe one or two. Enough to get the, maybe surprise me, me get a Cortana out. But uh, I can't believe this is getting close as it is. Finding that bench space? Okay, that's getting thin now. That's getting thin. Is Wimpod getting that for an 80? Uh, not not 80, it's 100 now, so that's two shot KO. And let can take a look at the Guzmas here. All my Guzmas are gone. I have to deal with it. You know, whatever comes out. Right is beating. Now we run away. I know there's no Guzmas. You thumped the ball. Gale Blade. Yeah, run away! Run away! Run away! Get the Gengar out, he can't kill the Gengar. Wait, it's weak to dark. Yeah, he can't kill the Gengar. Shoot! He can kill anything, actually, except the Lele. Okay, so he's like, oh, I'll take your Gengar, but uh, you may lose this card coming up next. Acerola, nope. Not this time. Okay, we are a little desperate right now. Coco's gonna come out. Are you gonna take the DCE though? You know, he does have a Galissapod active though. He can still fight with that. That's bad. That's bad. That's the last Acerola and that's the last DC. Oh, that got stung badly. Oh, well I can take that out. Wait, you had a one shot. He didn't know about the weakness, but he wanted that. He wanted that, so this is the last DCE. This is the last of the DCs. I have two ends. Let's go ahead and retreat. You have resistance against me. That's still enough though. Let's shrink you down to make you uh you know a little uh, a little cautious. Gale Blade. Finish that off! Finish it off! Cartana makes it impossible to deck out first. That is true. No, don't shuffle it out. You're still healthy. You're still healthy. Two prize guards away. It's another Gengar. There were two prize Gengars. No wonder that was going to be tough to set them up. Where's that Super Hunt? It's in the discard, man. All right. That's all four DCEs. How many puzzles of time has been thrown out? It looks like two, so there might be more. There might be. He could start thinning and looking for the puzzles of time. It's really pushing them out. Field blower again. Sure, I'll take. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now he's thin. I, I, I can. Uh, yeah. I can still fight. I can take a prize card. I don't have a Guzma though, so that sucks. All right, keep thinning. Keep thinning. Guys, gotta hold out. Just gotta hold out. I'll take a prize card if he doesn't retreat this. That's a puzzle! That's the third puzzle. Oh, you're gonna deck out. He did find a water en grass energy. Oh, this 
This is tough. What do I do? I'll put the energy here. You're gonna deck out for me. I need that Kartana again. I need that Kartana again. Ah, don't get it. Go ahead, Gale Blade. Hi, man. Would you like to shuffle up? No, you're gonna live. And that's less bench space for you, so... That's Sycamore, that's gonna deck K KO me out. So this is gonna come out, he may have that grass energy, he may be able to attack. And, by more time, he doesn't have that many cards left. Okay, I don't have that many cards left. That is the energy. Oh, it stung him so badly. Okay, I've got to run away. I think I don't want a Sycamore, because Sycamore will end up be decking out first. Gale Blade! No, if I had Gale Blade, I'll get my cards back anyways. So I can still Sycamore. Sycamore! Alright. Gale Blade! Say yes! Yes! All three cards go back, so I cannot deck out first. Choose an active. Send this guy up. Deal with him. You I got four cards. You got one. If I take this out, I win. So you gotta run away. You don't have anything left in your deck. Is this gonna work? You can't. Of course. Attack it. Now we may have the Cortana again. So we have to get more space. We have to get more space. Here we go. Do that. Can he buy more time? That's his last card. For the smiley face. For some time. You threw that one off already. You threw that the other one off. Holy F. Holy F. Did we just beat that deck? We beat it that deck. Of course he made some mistakes. I made some mistake, but we did it. We beat Tord's deck. It wasn't Torn playing because he would have not uh, he would have been very careful and done everything that, but Whatever man. Whatever man. Okay, so the today's Twitch giveaway winner, which is who is Snorlax Orange, yeah. All right, Snorlax, it was zombie again. Welcome back, and I'm gonna play my remix. This, my well, Lapras deck is gonna complete. May have guessed incorrectly then. All right, this is gonna be my remix of Jump Up Superstar from Mario Odyssey. Okay, we got Ultra Balls and lots of energies. You don't want to lose energies, or actually, I had too much of anything. Actually, that's okay. We're going second, Lapras. Lapras weak to grass, but one shots Cortanas. Well, what choice bands that is? Okay. Professor Kukui! Ooh, our Kukana's gonna get blown up. What do we have here? There are no, uh, there are no DCE, so Cortana's special effect will not work on this. And the first Ultra Ball goes to yet another Lapras, turning him down. Okay, this is that particular deck. I'm a little worried here. Max Elixir. Oh man, our Ghastly is not gonna set up quick enough. Aqua Patch! Oh, it's completely up already! It's like, here you go, Donald! Don't get Cortana. You may get one shot at, but. I gotta get the. You know, I gotta get things going. I don't wanna end, but I may have to. I have to reset these things. So let's go ahead and do this. We need a draw supporter. So I'm gonna play this right here. And I'm gonna stick more. I could, you know, I don't have to lose him. I pretty much get the same amount of cards if I Lily. So I'm gonna do that instead of saying Bridget or something. Actually, Bridget would probably be better. You know, do you have a Bridget? I don't think I had it. Yeah, I did have a Bridget. Okay, what do we have here? You might not last, Ghastly, so better work on another Ghastly now. Is 
This is tough. This is ultra, ultra tough. This is my first turn, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Get the second ghastly up. Alright, leave it right there. It's completely ready, uh, up already. Nope. Yep, yep, it says. It's got three energies. It's got an ice beam and everything. These guys just gotta retreat. Yeah. There's another Lapras. Energy, uh, just needs... Collects, okay. We got some time. What do we do? We don't have a retreat. We're gonna, of course, do this. Put the energy right here. We do have a retreat. Just of all the front ghastly. DC is too valuable. But so is this. I don't get too shot if I don't attack that, but that doesn't matter against that one. Okay, okay, first Gengar, you're up. This is my retreat as well. Okay, let's put this up here. Uh, G Gengar, number one, you're up. Oh, now, now you wish you had a Banana Master. So let's go ahead and go in here. Are we got a Gale Blade or Blade GX? You can always play GX anytime. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and attack. Yeah. Uh, hey, how do you how do you uh, how do you make Lapras? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to re redo Lapras. Lapras can definitely take on the meta for sure, man. He can take on the meta. And Zombie's way of doing it gets one shots too, like on the on the on those uh de de deck that we put just played. Yeah, it's weakness to Glissopod though, so which makes it kind of strange. Gengar is just as bad as Item Lock. I don't know. You, I think we'll see. We'll see. No, it's not. You can pl actually play and stuff. You just take damage. I need the damage from my katana. So free retreat into a Lapras. Uh oh. Yeah, zombie. You're gonna beat me thoroughly. So there's that. Stings a little bit. Hey, Sorolla brings them all back here. And now, well, with a choice man, it'll be a one shot. Let's see if the choice man comes here. One shot, poor katana. Yep. What are you complaining about, the zombie? 190. Yep, you can't gonna not take you for this. Okay. You're gonna one shot this Lele too. There ain't much I can do about that at this point, so I'm gonna go straight attack you. Yep. DCE, take that. Take 100 damage. I am a little bricked right now. Pokemon Ranger. Oh yeah, that's still around. Mm-hmm. Bye, Lele. That's two prize cards. One shot kill. Gasly, you're up. See if I can get something back. He's already about to win. I get energy. Not gonna help you too much. Yeah, I don't put anything here. One more prize card, can't attack, retreat. The energy switch. Yep, that's how you get the last energy. And you're about to win. I think he may end. Maybe? No? Acerola, hey, okay. I was like, why are you thinking about end? Finishes and picks it all back up. And one more prize card away. Choice fan. Choice fan. One shots everything I have in this deck. Here's my last card. Then I'll end my turn. Hang on, I got this. This can slow him down. Not really. He's got full retreat. But you know, we got, if we don't try, then I make it angry. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and end my turn right there. It's bad as I am locked. Totally, totally sorry. Good game. I, I know that's how it's gonna go. There's not much I can do with a straight Gratana deck. That was it, man. So, boom. 
And this is how your Cortana deck will, will go. So don't do this, because this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. So, that is that. GG, zombie. Moving out. Moving out. Well. Looks like you made it to the end. Turned out quite as you expected, didn't ya? Well, definitely the second match, but the first one... It just happened to be the right, absolutely right meta deck to go against. But other than that, yep, Cortana is Cortana. So, you made it to the end. Thank you. Congratulations. It is time we rate this deck. Let's break it down. Cortana GX, what is your special, special trait? You actually have two of them. You have your ability to knock off special energies and your Blade GX. Other than that, there's not much value. So, these two are special. And... Alright, we can give it a 4 out of 5, nothing too game-breaking. Maybe the Blade GX, but you could get a powerful GX that gets one-shot KO on a GX. Enemy shut them down and get two prize cards. So, yeah, that's that. Okay, so damage, um, you're starting at 70. And you need a lot of help to boost you into two-hit KOs. You're not going to get a one-shot KO anywhere on this deck. You do have a GX that kind of looks or cheats a bit, but not really. It's a 3 out of 5. You can only 2, 3 hit only. There's no 1 hit in this deck. Yeah, alright. Uh, setup. This is the easy to set this up. Relatively, you have a basic. You have a DCE. You can get that going. But because these things don't last as long, you're going to be a bit behind if they get one-shotted. Which is very, very likely. So then you'll need another D regular energy, another DCE, and this is the thing gating you, so it kind of stinks. I, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5, because that's somewhat average, but it's going to hurt in the defense area, because that hurts your setup too, so uh, defense, let's give it a 3.5 out of 5. I mean, it has 170 hit points, but this is on the low end of the spectrum. Many meta decks can easily one-shot this, blow this up. This, this is low hit point GX. It won't last that long. So luckily, you know, in the first match, that sort of deck could not get a one-shot on this. So we were okay. Everything else, uh, uh. All right, so the weakness is there's no damage. There's no hit points. You should not be playing this because otherwise you'd be bananas. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that. There's, I wouldn't recommend any upgrades. You should probably just use this in a, as a side grade to your metal decks, perhaps. Although it's kind of curious, like, I can just use my Enhance Hammer. Why do you have to uh, put this guy in here? Yeah. So I'm still kind of, you know, thinking about that as well. But other than that, all right, Cortana, you got to see, like, what you can do if you actually fight. So maybe in the future, you'll be as a side grade. Yeah, we'll just toss you in Metagross or something like that. So that is it for now. All right, Donald, what is up for next time? I actually don't know. Yeah, you see we have uh, choices, and we haven't streamed it yet, because uh, it's, a, it's a Thanksgiving and I don't have time for that right now. So, it may be the low and right you, we try to go try this out and see how you know this guy does, but he's just Banana Master, so we'll see. It's either that or Reggie Rock. Yeah, because we just did a GX as a focus point, I'm thinking of using a, you know, a non-GX now. Alright, so... Or it could be a uh, non GX from this list. Could be. Oh, Xerneas Break! Not the new one. The new one is not that good, but Xerneas Break. It could even be this guy. And Full Pie's like, yeah. This, can, this, 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 this thing's a killer deck. Maybe it may have to be this one. It's likely a right you. Okay, right you this one. Right you this one. Mitch is making up at the end of the deck video. Nice one, Donald. Okay, so that is it for now. Right you or this guy. Yeah. Okay, so this, uh, thank you very much, Integros and Differentials. Uh, please like, subscribe, because you know you want to see more Pokemon videos like this. Follow me on social media. I'll give you clues when new things are happening. Discord, my Discord link is right there. There you can chat, hang out with us. Uh, everyone who hangs out on Twitch usually is there as well. Remixes can be found on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music. Next video is tomorrow. All right, that is it. I also have secret channels where I do vlogs and other games as well. You know, know where to find them. Can't help you with that one. Thank you, Integrals and the Frenchals. Take it easy. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.